Hi, I'm Michael Canales with Green Tech Media, and this behind me is the Mitsubishi Meve. It's the granddaddy of all EVs from major manufacturers. Mitsubishi came out with this in 2009, but in 2011 at the LA Auto Show, they're going to bring it to the States. Now in Japan, it gets about 100 miles to a charge, goes about 85 miles an hour, and costs $45,000. Those stats will be about the same. The car might be a little wider for Americans, but they're probably going to bring the price down. Nissan's coming out the Leaf at $33,000, and Mitsubishi knows they have to be competitive. Let's go take it for a test drive. As you can see, like a lot of economy cars, we got the Spartan interior. Not a lot of extras. You got a nav system, a steering wheel, you know, but it looks and feels pretty much like a regular uh, economy car. Park, neutral drive, etc. Eco. First of all, how do you start the car? Or is it on? The switch. Where's the switch? The main switch is here. Ah, okay, the main switch. Yeah, it looks like a key, actually. All right. Put it in. Windshield wiper goes on. All right, and that's it. We're set. I'm gonna test the acceleration if that's okay. I'm gonna just punch it quick. Picks up well, we got the windows open. That's the loudest thing in the car. Going through. Do a little wiggly driving there. That's always kind of fun. What's good about the Meve though, it does feel substantial. This does not feel like a flimsy car. You know, it's got some, it's got some weight to it. Corners pretty well. You know, in an electric like this, you're not gonna miss that much about having a gas car. It, you know, you can't go to Disneyland, you're not gonna drive 300 miles. But for around town driving, it's going to be quieter. You're never going to have to go to the gas station. And it's fun to drive, right? I mean, it's electric. It's a different driving experience. Uh, you've driven regular gas cars your whole life, so you might as well try something new. So what kind of grade do I give the Mitsubishi Meve? Maybe a B. On a bad day, I'd say a B minus. It's a nice car. It drives well. It's good substantial and weight to it. It turns well. It's not as good as the Leaf, though. The Leaf definitely gets an A. And of course, you know, electric sports cars are off the chart. So the less than that, the styling leaves a little bit to be, to be desired. You know, it kind of looks like maybe it fell off of a carnival ride or something. But Mitsubishi is a big company. They've been around for a long time. They got a lot of designers. They're going to change the styling of that to suit different tastes and you know different families and you know different different consumer segments. And you know the price is going to come down. This is a big company. This is not some 18 guys in Silicon Valley trying to put a car together. This is a massive company with tons of engineers with a lot of battery chemistry experience. They are going to be one of the major players in this, I think, you know, along with Volkswagen, Nissan, and probably Toyota and Honda. So you can see a lot of cars coming out. Give them a beat for now. Let's we'll see what happens. And what do we have here? A high-speed charger from Hitachi. A bunch of companies have these. They're 500 volts. In about 30 minutes, 20 minutes, you can get 80% of your battery charged. And it works pretty much like a regular charger. You pull this out, use the trigger, stick it in your car, wait 30 minutes, put it back in, and you're done. Uh, they're going to be in public areas. They have a battery switching station here from Better Place. There's really a push here, though, for the high-speed charging. They'll be low speed at your house, but they really want to, uh, you might say, capture the technological high ground, and this is maybe one way they can do it.